Shalom, Shalom. Today is uh, Tuesday, September, September 21st, and that's not the first time I've said that today. So um, if you see me wearing the same outfit in multiple videos, it's because I made multiple videos in one day. So it's not because I'm wearing the same thing yet, day after day. Anyway, um, so one of the things, we've already gone to, Graham, uh, to the rehab facility, picked up grandma's clothes. They're washing. Actually, they're finished washing. They're getting ready to go in the dryer. <clears throat> I've got lunch on. Miss um, Kelsey wants some macaroni and cheese, so I'm going to share that with her. And um, let's see. I have my single solitary can of um, pizza sauce I did not steal yesterday. Uh, started in a water bath. And I usually use so in the bottom of my water bath pots I usually use these little flowers these are great and they do do the job but I find that for the smaller jars they want to slide in between the little petals so I'm gonna try these are some felt felt as well um, these are some felt um, flowers that go in between plates and glass things to keep them from breaking. Um, so I'm going to give this a try mm -hmm. on top of the flower to see what happens because I remember my mom and my grandparents um, always using blankets um, when they did their water bath in their huge tubs over the open fire. <laughs> I remember them using blankets to cover the um, the to cover the bottom and the, to cover the top. So. Yeah, I'm going to give this a try and I'll let you know how that goes. So um, the next thing that I'm going to, going to make um, is um, made some, some, uh, <laughs> okay, in this canning book, I actually like this canning book actually, um, but there on page uh, 186, there's a chocolate raspberry sundae topper. I'm going to make that but with strawberries and I have some cherries in the freezer that I'm probably going to do eventually maybe not this week but we'll see also swung by Kroger's and it's the end of peach season so I snatched up all the peaches they had because um, you know the ones that I got from Azure Standard um, molded so um, and I'm not blaming Azure Standard for that. Uh, they are having to uh, cross um, the United States. So it takes like three or uh, three days to get here and sometimes four. So I had a couple more days under that. Um, you don't know when it's been picked. Uh, they're picked right before they're ripe, but um, you know, you don't know when it was picked. So, um, you know, it's been sitting for a while. So um, I guess in, in produce, um, items I think it may be better instead of buying in bulk from Azure Standard and having it shipped across the United States to just buy it locally so these are not organic so I'm gonna have to peel them um, but uh, they're not ripe yet so I'm gonna give them a couple of days probably looking at working on those maybe Thursday um, who knows it might go to Sunday <laughs> they're very hard that they're not ripe so um, we'll see how that goes, um, the ripeness. Um, hopefully it doesn't fall Friday and Saturday so that I can't do it on the Sabbath. But, um, yeah, so, and this morning I am drinking some Yerba Mate with a dash of cinnamon. That is so good, y'all. Um, yeah, so I'll get back with you when, I'll be back when um, I'm ready to start the strawberries. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is wash them and then decor them um, <clears throat> this little handy dandy tool right here works for strawberries and for tomatoes just FYI but those strawberries are beautiful and they are organic you want to buy the strawberries are one of the dirty dozen so you really want do want to buy those organic so those are organic and I need to stir this excuse me baby girl thank you So I'm going to woo. 
I'm going to wash and core those and then uh, it calls for them to be crushed. So I'm going to put them in the pot and I will crush them as they're um, cooking down. So I'll be back for that. Okay, the recipe calls for four and a half cups. This is um, uh, this is three three batches worth. Okay, the recipe also calls for four tablespoons of lemon juice. So that's going to be twelve tablespoons of lemon juice for a triple batch. Now I don't know if this is one of the recipes that you have to work in small batches. I'm going to try it like this and see what happens. Worst case scenario, I have to re-epicked and so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I have uh, seeds in here, lemon seeds that are trying to get in the tablespoon, and there's 12. Okay, so it calls for three packs of pectin. Um, I love the Cerato liquid pectin, so I got three packs of that. That is my preferred one because it always turns out right. Okay, so I've got my lemon juice in here, and we just need to bring this to a boil. It's starting to warm up now. Such a pretty color. It's almost a shame to put cocoa in it, isn't it? I might actually try some. Just strawberry. What? That would be pretty cool. So the lemon juice raises the acidity. So now we need to stir in our pectin. Yes, ma'am. Please what? Mom is happy. Are you done? Can you clean up, please? I don't know why, but me and the powdered pectin just doesn't do well. The grape jelly that I made the other day. This tart, by the way. The grape jelly I did the other other day, um, <laughs> I ended up having to redo it all, and um, I just used sugar to uh, gel it. And here's the third. Okay, so we're going to bring this to a boil, a rolling boil. And then we add the sugar, which is six and three quarter cups per thing so that so that's 20 and one quarter cups of sugar you want treasures <laughs> really what kind of treasures do you want what can you please oh you want to go looking for treasures <laughs> so i need a cup and a half of cocoa I found this at um, uh, Kroger this morning, which is uh, the Dutch uh, cocoa powder, but it's organic. 
You are being a little mama's helper today. I love that. Oh, so I'm going to go ahead and add this because it was supposed to have been added to the dry pectin, but I didn't do dry pectin, so. One. Mm. I know. Mm. Two. This is a half cup measuring cup, by the way. Mm, this one's delicious. And three. Do you like a strawberry? No, this is not going to go on cake. I'm going to put it on ice cream, though. Mm -hmm. Does it smell like cake? Yeah, it smells like chocolate. This is bigger, otherwise I'm gonna have to get my other one. That's not boiling yet, but it's close, y'all. Definitely bigger pot. All right, hang on. You would think I would learn my lesson. Because when I cooked off the, the great uh, jelly the second time, I just put it all in one pot and did it. I'm like, I'm not doing this in three batches. And the second time worked like a charm, of course. I gotta be honest, the chocolate covered up the smell of the strawberries. Okay, so this was not coming to boil on the smaller eye, so I moved it over to a bigger eye. So hopefully we'll see a boil pretty soon. All right, y'all, we finally have a boil that I cannot stir down. So here goes the sugar. Holy smokes. different stir and stick. Now we bring it back to a rolling boil for one minute and then we well we time it for one minute and then it boils for one minute and then um, we remove it from the heat and it's ready to can. have another sink full of dishes. <laughs> Alright, I'll come back when uh, this is ready uh, boiling. So you know that was saying a watch pot never boils. Mm. How much time do we can or spend watching pots not boil? Just think about that for a second. Mm. Some uh, boilage. It's nowhere near a boil that you can't stir down yet, but we're starting to get some bubbles, which I'm excited about. Yay! Looks like I've been stirring for half an hour. Oh, wait, I have been. And that's just since I moved it to the side. 
Maybe people do it in smaller batches because it doesn't take as long to boil. So it feels like it goes by a lot faster. That and fruit usually uh, comes in in small batches at a time to start with. Anyway, just thinking out loud. I see bubbles. A little bit more. All right, there we go. I'm gonna turn down the stitch and start my one minute timer. I turned it down because with a hard boil, I do not want this popping on my hand. Because that would leave a serious burn. Hey, Bobby, what you doing? Should you come visit mommy in the kitchen? There's our minute timer, and we're going to move her over off of the eye. See my sink full of dishes? That's just from this. All right, so we're going to start ladling it in the jars. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. So this needs a quarter inch head space. with a hot plate. <laughs> That's all I have to do. Oh my goodness. That's all it is. I've filled such a huge shoe with hot plates. Yeah, but you have the coolest lap in town. Huh? Yeah, but you have the coolest lap in town. Lap? Lap. Oh, apparently. And there you go. You're a lap kitty. Huh? be sick before they have anything to do with me in the lab. See, I might have the coolest lap in town, but you got the coolest bridge in town. That's true. They use me as a bridge all the time. <laughs> oh, no, we don't just jump on Dad's lap. No, we're going to rub it in Mama's face and say, here, we're going to use you to walk across here. Yeah. Just to make you feel really good about yourself. That's hard. Oh, you get all the Kirby hugs of the computer, and you know, he's got his Yeah, thing but only when, only when Daddy's not home. <laughs> Yeah, because he feels so alone. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to clean the pot out into a jar to go in the fridge. So I've got 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 12 ounce jars. Definitely tastes better than it smells. It's already starting to thicken up. <laughs> You see how it's coating that uh, spoon right there, where it's been sitting in the bowl and cooling? It's going to be pretty good and thick when it's cooled. So I'm going to get the lids and the rings on these. They get a water bath for 10 minutes and um, they're done. Good to go. Thank you for spending your time with me. I really appreciate you guys um, stop by my channel and uh, watch my videos. Uh, thank you for spending your time with me. Yahoo bless you and keep you and give you shalom. Until next time, Yahoo bless.